Hi, this is a video about free plane. I think it's the best free mind mapping application out there. And this is a about jump in and filtered filter select nodes. In some ways they're similar and in some ways they're different. Just to explain the screen a little bit, this is a an image of a table that I did in Write Note. If you're interested in a two pane information manager you got to check out right note I'll leave a link in the description and I'll leave a link for a, for you to download this image if you're interested over here we have free plane there's one map that's this map here but it's being displayed in two map views here and here I'll use this map view to explain what's going on and jump in this map view to explain filtered selected nodes. It's also got the menu bar and the filter toolbar at the top. Both these features are divine, designed to give you focus on just the part of the map that you want to be working on right now. A large mind map could be thousands of nodes on hundreds of branches and sometimes all that interesting information can be distracting for what you want to do right now. So these offer a way to zoom in on those and hide everything else so you're not distracted. Jump in is the tightest focus. Filter selected nodes is a little more loose and it gives you the ability to compare more branches than just one. Now we will be looking at how to use these functions right here but just to demonstrate what we talked about here I'm going to use hotkeys so up here in this map view I'm going to jump in on this node called big down here I'm going to filter in on it so you can see this is a lot tighter focus than here because you're seeing less information than down here you're seeing all this stuff on both sides but over here you're also seeing the ancestor side right back to the root node of the map. Also if I filter right now with those two nodes selected you can see they were both grabbed in my focus. But up here with two, focus, with two selected if I jump in it's only going to catch one of those. It caught the first one that I selected. That's because it's meant to be a tighter focus. Let's look at how to do this, how to turn this on and off with menus, the toolbar, or command search. Um, on menus, jump in is a way to navigate, while filter selected nodes is a way to filter. So you'll find jump in on the navigate menus and filter selected nodes on the filter menu. So up here, let's go to navigate jump in and then navigate jump out down here where we're filtering we'll go to the filter menu and filter selected nodes and then to turn that off we'll go to filter no filtering on toolbars there's no button to jump in on any of the toolbars with filter selected nodes you can filter use the filter toolbar this is the let's see I'm want to get in the right map this is the select uh, filter selected nodes so I click on it and this is what happened down here and then I'm gonna click on no filtering and we're back to the full map with command search which is control F1 we can actually access everything on the menus. So I'm pressing Control F1. I click. That was actually Control 1, which is a, a style. So Control F1. You have to make sure that this menu items is checked for what we're doing. So in this map here, I'm just going to type in jump. And I can find what I'm looking for right here. Jump in, double click it, 
and it turns it on. Now I'm going to just click it and press enter and that turns it off. Now in this map view where I'm filtering I'm going to change what I'm looking for from jump to filter and here's our item. I'm just going to press enter to turn it on. I'm going to move down to no filtering to turn it off and pressing enter. I really like command search because a lot of the time I like to work in full screen mode where there is you don't see any menu bar, you don't see any toolbars, and yet I can access everything on the menu bar with command search really quickly and easily. So let's look at some of the benefits. This is kind of a review that uh, jump in is a tight focus. It's meant to just jump into some branch in your map that you want to work on without distraction, work, get it done, and then jump out. Filter selected nodes is uh, basically the same thing, but you can you work with more than one node. Jump in has multiple jump in points, which can be quite handy. So up here in this map view, I'm on K9. I'm going to jump in and then I'm going to go to Big, jump in, and then go to Great Dane, jump in, and maybe I'll do a little work here. And when I'm done, I will jump out. And maybe I'll go down to this one and jump in. Maybe do a little work here and jump out. Now all this time I've been working in 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 big without any other nodes here to distract me. Now if I want to jump out again, I'm back to canine as my route. And if I jump out again, I'm back to the full map. Now with filtering down here, the first part of that's fairly similar. I can turn on the filter at K9, go up to big, turn on the filter. I'm just reapplying the filter. I do it again, but as soon as I press, or as soon as I close off that filter, turn it off, I see the whole map again. I can't just back out gradually. This next benefit is one of the biggest distinctives of jump in. It will let you have many maps inside your map because you can have a two-sided route. That's related here. We'll get to just as a review after we do this. So you can have many, many maps spread throughout all your, your main map. Now I filtered this and I've jumped in here. When you jump into a node, you basically um, have this whole map no root node hidden and your jumped in node becomes a temporary root node. And one of the main features of a root node is that you can have children on the left side and on the right side. Both of these are children. So since this is a, a temporary no, a root node, I can press insert and create another child node. That's reflected down here. So all of these are child nodes because they're on the outbound side of this node here. And in a regular note, you can't have child nodes on this side. This side is for parent nodes. But up here, this is basically the node, the root node for this jumped in node and I can move some of these items over here and nothing changes down here. And if I jump out of this, go back to big and jump back in, it maintains this new two-sided map structure that I created. So again, you could have hundreds of these spread out through your map. And in filter select nodes, you can have more context because you show the ancestors. I went back to the way it was here. 
and all you see is this node because now it's a root node doesn't have any ancestors but here in the in the normal view of the map this not only has children but it has ancestors it has a parent and the root and that can give you more context and filtered selected notes is also a little bit better match for find and replace because it'll handle multiple nodes. I've opened this map all the way up and I'm going to press Control Shift F for find and you can see that uh, it's, this is all the nodes in my map but if I type in big it will find that twice and if I select them here and find press enter it has selected them up in the map now remember when I when I uh, jumped in before it only selects one of them but when I have them both selected like it came back after the find and try and run a uh, filter on it now it's filtering on both of those so I can actually work on both of these or just compare them whatever I need and again just to review about the map root which is here in jump in it's completely hidden because this is now the working root node whereas in filtered selected notes it's visible back through the ancestor side just a few things to note that uh, jump in is a is a complete feature whereas filter selected nodes is part of an overall filter filtering functionality that's really um, sophisticated here it's it's beyond just these two buttons on this toolbar it's beyond just two items in this menu also jump in is a new feature whereas filter selected nodes is a long established feature and sometimes jump in in other applications will be called hoist and finally we'll mention something that or some things about this that both of them share one is that you can use the same map in multiple map views and yet independently focus and filter and jump in that's what we've been doing all the time in this video and they can be both be used simultaneously together uh, it's it's a kind of a workaround in one way to let you have a uh, kind of change the route if you if I'm parked here and I jump in and then I click here and filter now I'm no longer longer looking nor like I would normally at this is the way I'd look in filter but because I jumped in here and then filtered this gives a little bit different look and finally worth noting is that as you filter or jump in um, it affects the way that find and replace can see data it, as you more and more filter in and and jump in it's going to restrict the amount of, of data pool available for example in this map view this is the whole map and if I press control shift F and get rid of big we, we can look again and see that this is all the nodes in my map but if I look here this is filtered on canine and if I go to find again that's a little more than half of what I we just saw and if I come up here and well let's filter right there or jump in let's jump in and now look at find it only finds a few things Great Dane and a couple of children so the more you filter down in burrow down in or jump in the less data you're going to see in find that may seem like a disadvantage but I've got a, a two plane or a two pane outliner that I in the tree structure you can hoist and focus in on certain branches but when you go to find you see the whole 
um, database of of nodes. To me, that's frustrating. I like this a lot better. So again, just a quick review that both of these will let you focus in so that you're not being distracted by a lot of other interesting nodes and whatnot through your tree. Jump in is a little bit of a tighter focus while select, filter selected nodes is um, more of a broad focus partly because you can see the ancestors and partly because you can see multiple nodes. I suggest you try these both of these things and I wouldn't be surprised if you start using both of them but I do recommend that you map keyboard hotkeys if you start using them. So that's it. I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.